Any outdoor fire could quickly get out of hand because of the windy and dry conditions. We're taking a look at video from a grass fire that got out of control Wednesday afternoon north of Farley. And KCRG TV 9's Grace Vance spoke to officials in Bremer and Lynn counties with tips about how you can stay safe. Spring, I guess, you know, people got to burn. It's something Kip Ledegi is all too familiar with. Fires that can easily get out of control. Ledegi is the coordinator for the Bremer County Emergency Management. He says conditions in Iowa have created the perfect storm. We've had recently the, the multi-year drought. Uh, uh, it's certainly very dry conditions here in Bremer County in our section of Northeast Iowa. Along with the wind, we have conditions that are just right for uh, large fires that could easily get out of control. Earlier this month, his crews helped respond to a large fire in Black Hawk County that threatened a family farm. He says it started accidentally with windy conditions carrying the fire across a pasture straight towards the home. And that burned uh, across uh, almost a, uh, well, it crossed several roads and threatened a uh, uh, the property that did include 600 hogs uh, were threatened there. These are pictures of the fire Ledegi took using a drone. He says they fought the fire for several hours and it burned nearly a mile by the end. They saved the farm, they saved the hogs, uh, nobody got hurt and you know it was just a, it was a very lucky situation. For Lynn County Conservation, fire is a tool they use to manage land. Here in Central City at Massel Bridge Natural Area, Lynn County Conservation has just done a prescribed burn. But they say windy conditions so far this season has made things like this difficult. It all depends on the weather. It's hard to predict what the spring is going to do. Andy Huck is an ecologist with Lynn County Conservation. He says they do prescribed fires to manage prairie and weed out invasive species. Because we have our conditions that we burn in, and unless those conditions are met, we won't burn. So based on the weather, like if it's a real windy spring, real windy conditions, yeah, we just can't burn. He says the window of time they can safely burn has gotten shorter because of changing weather. If you're planning to burn, Ledegi recommends using common sense practices. Make sure you've got a way to put that fire out quickly if you need to, if it should escape. Um, watch the weather. Make sure you stay put, stay near that fire, and, and you know, so that you are able to monitor it and make sure that uh, if it gets away, you can call 911. In Central City, Grace Vance, KCRG TV9 News.